Hi, uh, what's up guys? So I'm just going to do a quick video to show you how to use a program called X360CE which is basically just a program that allows you to use kind of any standard PC controller with any game that um, allows you to use an Xbox 360 controller. So what you need to do is really simple, you just need to grab the software. So we're going to do that now. Just type in that into Google, the first result for you, and click on that one and then just download that and unzip it so I'll give you a minute to do that and okay, you should be back by now and you should have that so now what you need to do is grab it from wherever you've extracted it to and just drop it into here and it's the main folder for the game uh, so that'll probably be it. for me it's in local disk so I'll just start off with local disk sometimes it's in program files but in this case it's here and there you go, so you grab that and just drop it into this file and then what you need to do, you won't have either of these files yet, that's fine so what you need to do is just um, open it up and run it and then it'll, the first time doing it, it will give you actually a couple of messages saying that you need to, that you don't have the, those two files and that you need to get them so just accept that and just say yes, it'll also give you some options to like download settings from the internet or search from the computer just uh, download from the internet and wait for it all to like, go through that itself, it'll take a couple of minutes. Do that and then when that's all done and loaded you should be at this screen here. Then when you're here, this is basically a little thing that kind of shows you, if you have a look, I'm moving the analog stick now, the D-pad triggers and such and it shows you what you're doing. So a lot of the time your controls might be messed up, so just for example say that your Y button you clicked on it and it actually came up without the X or something. What you do is you put a Y button, then record. I shall just do it with you now. Y button, record, and then press that and it does it. So you do that for all your buttons and save it. Also, when you go into presets, I went into Logitech Logitech Cordless Rumble Pad 2, just because it seemed like I don't know it was one of the first ones there and that one worked fine for me. The only issue I have is when I go down there on the like analogue, it does click on the trigger but it's not a massive issue for me really so I'm not too bothered. I'm just happy it works. So yeah, wait, when you're done just save that, so I don't need to. And then by now you'll have these two files as well. The next thing you need to do is, here you won't have this. So what you need to do is just put that in exactly as I have it there, exactly where I have it, and save that. And once that's done, you should be all set and just load up the game and it should work perfectly fine. And as you can see, I've used it in a couple of different games. I've also got it in um, Saints Row 4. And I have the older version, which is a lot more difficult to use, in uh, GTA 4 as well. But yeah, hopefully that should help some people. Um, if it does, that's brilliant. And if you want to leave a like or something, it'd be much appreciated. Uh, if you've got any questions or queries or just want to let me know anything, feel free to leave comments and if you like my channel it would be great if you could subscribe. Uh, I'll be back soon but that's it for now. Bye guys!